Thank you, Anna. Thank you very thank much. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And thank, thank everybody for being here. It's a, we're very excited about this event. What can the Philippines learn from other countries in terms of building resilience to disaster? Uh, one of the things that we have to do now is to commit ourselves to capturing all the lessons from all over the world in terms of how to build buildings, uh, how to prepare um, uh, countries and especially poor communities for resilience. We need to spread those lessons um, to all the poor countries that are facing these kinds of crises. The national government will integrate or have, has integrated a lot of these uh, climate change issues already in our national plans. But more than that, local government planning has also tried to integrate that, whether it's creating zones for uh, evacuation centers or uh, putting up better infrastructure that will be more resilient. One of the biggest issues in media, in weather, in communicating is how do you even get out these signals that, that you know, you could actually perish? Um, right now, one of the priorities of the National Youth Commission is integrating youth participation in the disaster councils, both in the national as well as in the local level. Uh, is the world about looking at you know, build cap capacity building in the sector in terms of mentoring or coaching young yeah, leaders? Absolutely. You know, check out Connect for Climate. Uh, it's our big program where we're trying to build uh, youth leadership. If you don't care about climate change, but you say you care about poverty, those two things, you can't do that. You cannot care about one and not about the other. Because what we know, and it's hap it happened in Taklaban, and it happens at every level, that even in a place that's relatively poor, it's the poorest in that relatively overall poor place that are affected the most. So uh, the task for you, in my view, is fuel the next great Asian economic miracle. I'm walking away from the Philippines just full of hope and optimism for this country.